Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I'm going to show you how to dynamically change the color of object shadows within Power BI, allowing you to turn the shadow into a type of KPI for that visual. Object shadows are also a new feature that I am very happy has been incorporated into Power BI. So with that said, let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So for this video, I'm going to use the KPI card that I combined with the Sparkline that you might have seen in a few of my other reports or some of the other videos. If you're curious how I made this combination two layered visual, I'll link you to the video over on the right or down in the description. But what I want to show you is how to add dynamic color formatting to the shadow in the background of this. Now shadows are a relatively new feature as of the time of this video coming out. And if I select the object in here, we can come over to the formatter and we can see down here for shadows, there is where the conditional form and it can be applied. The shadow can be turned on or off. And by default, if you want, you can just have a standard black color. But just like anything else in Power BI with colors, you can also apply measure based formatting. So if you go here to the little format icon and say format by field value, I can then come into my measures folder and there's my KPI measure that returns a series of hex colors depending on a condition that's being met. So with that set, you can see that it's actually starting at green because the current data right now is going up as a trend for this month. And if I move this back a little bit, there we go, it changes to red. So you can now use this to create color KPIs that help to indicate the trend or the pattern with the data. And just like any other time I've implemented color formatting, it's just a measure that returns one of two hex codes in this case. KPI color, you can see that green and red and there's just a calculation that just identifies should it show green or should it show red, and then that's applied to the shadow. So not only do you get to see that there's a new feature that's available now as far as shadows that can be turned on, but you can also see some ways to dynamically use that to enrich your visuals and enrich your report to apply dynamic color formatting. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.